Hello everyone and welcome to another quick NapTech tutorial. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to take a full screenshot of your Mac OS X screen or a partial screenshot where you can select a specific part of the screen using your mouse to take a screenshot of. So make sure to stick to the end to learn how to take a perfect screenshot on your Mac. All right, so taking a screenshot is one of the easiest things you can do on Mac OS X. It is very simple and I will go ahead and explain it to you right now. So you have two options while taking a screenshot, actually three, but we'll start with two. The two first options you can do with keyboard shortcuts. So no matter where you are on your Mac, whether you're on an application, on your desktop, or any anywhere on your Mac, you could use these keyboard shortcuts to take a screenshot or a partial screenshot. A screenshot, it would take a photo of your whole screen. So your whole screen will be saved as a picture. To do that, it's very simple. It's Command, Shift, and 3. So Command, Shift, 3 would take a screenshot of your whole desktop. That's it. Um, of your whole screen, actually, not just your desktop, of the whole screen. So if I were in an application, uh, and you were really, if I was like in font book, same thing, Command, Shift, 3, boom, I have a screenshot. Um, if I want a partial screenshot, I could do that using Command, Shift, 4. Now, what is a partial screenshot? A partial screenshot is a screenshot of only a single part of the screen, and you select which part of the screen you want to save. So if I go Command Shift 4, my cursor will turn into this sort of cross with a circle in the middle, and so I can select the exact part of the screen I want to save as a partial screenshot, and there you go. All screenshots that you take with keyboard shortcuts, so whether it's Command, 3 or Command, uh, Command Shift 3 or Command Shift 4, all these will be saved to your desktop. So since I have my desktop icons hidden, um, you can't see it right now, but if you were to do Command Shift 3 or Command Shift 4, all files will be saved to your desktop. Now, if you want to go more into advanced features, and if you want to take a screenshot of a single window without actually selecting it, so if I have a window open, such as a font book window, for example, and I want to take a picture of only this whole window, and I don't want to go through the pain of selecting the window and doing all that, you can simply go to uh, your launch pad, or uh, either by clicking the icon right over here, or by uh, clicking F4. And what you do is, well, you will get the screen right over here, and you'd go to the other folder included with your Mac, and you'd launch this application called Grab, which is also included with your Mac. Um, Grab has uh, different features to capture. Selection, which is the same as Command Shift 4 that we did. Um, screen, which is the same as Command Shift 3 that we did. And we have two additional features that um, that are more advanced and that are only available in the software that is included with your Mac. Um, they are window to take a um, specific screenshot of a window or timed screen. Now, timed screen would let you set a certain time um, for capture, for a grab to take a screenshot of your screen. So if you want to um, do timed screen, what you do is you'd set a time for the computer to take a screenshot and then you'd go to another software, set up what you want in the screenshot and it will do it for you automatically. So that's pretty much it. It is very simple and it doesn't uh, require more than just some simple three um, buttons on your keyboard uh, or some other clicks to open grab. So again, Command Shift 3 for the full screenshot, Command Shift 4 for the partial screenshot. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions about this, I doubt you do, but if you do, leave them in the comments section below and we will reply. And if you have suggestions for any other videos, leave them in the comments section as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out and it will keep you up to date to any new videos that we make. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, this has been another NapTech tutorial.